Right, so I needed a suds pump. I've wanted a suds pump for ages for the lathe. Now for me, a suds pump is prohibitively expensive. So I've been thinking for ages that I will cobble one up for myself. And the way I was going to do it, I was going to use this this old parts washer I've got. And some bits and pieces that I've gathered up to do it. I bought some tube. This is the actual hose of the parts watcher. They've only got a little pom pump in them. And I bought some of these bendy tube spurter out of things. And I bought a little tap. And the plan was just to put the tube on the either side of the tap, have the tap to turn the liquid on and off, fill this up with suds, cobble up saying I've got an electrical outlet on the uh, tray of my lathe that I was going to cobble up an hose pipe to back into here. So that was my plan. But then while I was on holiday my phone went for a ding and it was Wish and they were offering these. They were offering these for £4.50. Now it's not exactly what I wanted because this is a a mist spray. So you've got the, you've got a little sintered bronze filter on the end of it and you just drop that in the liquid, connect an air hose up to here and turn it on and off and you've got a, a mist spray coming out of the end here. That didn't bother me when I saw them advertised because this was only £4.50, it's got the tap and everything on it and it saved me making it, drilling holes in bits of metal and what have you and I thought I'll just take the um, the juice end out of it, plug that hole and put the <coughs> suds into there straight off of there but I gave it a go so let's have a look at that right let's give this little thing an outing I've just got a jug of water here I'm just going to stick this sintered bronze End in there. Right, that's the open thing. I ain't got no fittings for it, so I'm just going to stick me me blower in there and see how it goes. Don't know whether this. Now that I pulled it out, have I pulled it out? Yeah, pulled it out. I tell you what, that works remarkably well. That works really, really well. So, after giving it a go, I thought I can see some advantages to this. Um, I'm going to get myself some airline. This is an 8mm airline fitting. I didn't have no 8mm pipe or anything, so I ordered some 8mm pipe. Um, the coupling to go on the other end and some other bits and bobs and my plan now is to this thing's got two holes in it I'm just going to um, drill and tap a bit of steel screw that to it drill a bit of steel make a little T-nut so that I can have it on the cross slide of my lathe 
and use it directly on the lay. One of the big advantages I can see of it, because you've got the air coming out of it, it's got, I mean it appears to have a fair bit of poke coming out of it. And with that on the cutter, especially if you, well, if I'm turning brass or anything, because then brass shavings, if you've ever done it, they, they're like dusty things, they fly about all over the place, they get everywhere, they get up your nose, in your ears, they get in your pants. I think they get in your next door neighbour's pants. And I thought with that, that might push them, at least direct them a little bit away from where I don't want them. So, I'm going to make a, a little steel bit for this and a T-nut and what have you to put it on my cross slide. And when the airline bits turn up, I'll stick it on the lathe and give it a go. Right, so here's the steel block in place with the uh, spout and tap screwed to it with just some little M5 cap screws. Um, you might be forgiven for thinking I've left the stud on this a bit long for the uh, T-nut, but because I'm too bone idle to make one at the moment, I've nicked the one off my rear tool post, so I can try it out. But I will get around to making one for it. Right, the other bits I've got, the um, connector to go onto the airline I had, I've got a few of them. This little thing is a, a little regulator valve. It came with some stuff, I bought some airline stuff at Lidl's, I can't remember exactly what it was. But this came with it, so I thought I'd give that a go. So I'm going to screw that. This is the 8mm one I had to buy this, I think this was £3.50. They're just push fits for the pipe. But um, I haven't got any PTF tape at the moment, so I'm probably going to have leaks, but I'll be able to see how it goes. This is the 8mm airline I bought, but it's a bit rigid. I could have done with it being a bit more flexible than that. I bought 5 litres of this soluble oil. Suds. Uh, and this was 20 quid, but you only use 10 12% maximum. It tells you on the side what to do. General machine in the millions, 4 to 6%. So, what would you get? Plenty. That's what you'd get. Now, I asked my daughters when they were down home bargains to look out for a tray that I could use underneath my lathe. And they brought me back that one. That's quite a nice uh, metal tin. Um, might be a little bit little, but so I'm going to go with this ordinary old aluminium foil roasting tin. There's me reservoir, and hopefully, we collect some of the spray. I've got no idea how this is going to go. And I've got some mesh here that I'm just going to cut and stick over this just to stop too much crap getting in there. I'm just salvaged from an old shoe rack we had because I'm on order. So I'll put the rest of this together, get over the lathe and give it a go. Right, so here we are at the lathe. I've got the airline connected up. There's leaks all over here at the moment, but I don't think that's going to affect anything. I've got the regulator thing I put on it, turned down as low as it will go. Um, I did try the thing in me little tray here with a mesh on top of it which cutting that was the hardest bit of this project by far and I've just wrapped a bit of lead around this just to make sure it stays in there so I'm going to stick him in there all right that's in the suds I mix the suds up I've got two liters of it in there about a ten percent dilution so I'm ready to give it a go I'm only going to open this up very little bit
We've got the air coming out. Looks like it's got to be at least that before I get any mist coming out. Right, I'll see if I can turn that off. I'll get the camera in a bit closer and see if I can do a close up of it actually working. try and get a decent shot of this working I'm going to have to hand hold the camera certainly working might need a bit of tweaking here and there because it's chucking the actual juice all over the place but I don't suppose you can help that that's where it's just where it's hitting the chuck and everything else but all in all seems a pretty successful operation so this is the process that I ordinarily want this um, suds pump for is for cutting the cones in these in here I have to do it in quite a few different cuts and normally they get very very hot um, and I have to do it in several goes so let's see how it's getting on with this it will get noisy I'll probably have to turn the sand down on the editing
So that's it. Does the job perfectly. And that's stone cold. That's precisely what I wanted and I'm pretty sure the cut in there is better than I'd normally get. So that's it. I am well happy with that. So there is another way you can use this setup without having the air blasting through it. <clears throat> I've got some, I've just got a litre milk bottle here with some <clears throat> soluble oil mixed up in it and if I raise that up and put it on this hook here If I hang it up there, give this a little blast of air. <clears throat> Just to get the flow going. <clears throat> and you can have a little stream like that. <clears throat> and you can govern the... Uh, flow by the height you have it. I've got another hook here which is a lower hook and then you get a drip feed and then to stop it you can either peg it peg the line off or just drop the bottle down below the eye of the who's it and Bob's your uncle So the conclusion, well this is it, this is the thing, this is the bit I bought, this is the bit I made, you've seen that in the video, baking tray and this little mesh thing I've got over here, which don't save an awful lot, maybe I'll get it, well I can tell you that in there is an awful lot of shit, but you can just strain that out. <coughs> Was it worth it? Definitely for me, I mean I think this works brilliantly. Um, if you use quite a strong clip when you're using it in the drip feed mode, just just um, after you've put a bit of air in there and got the siphon going, if you just clamp it off properly, you can just switch it on and off basically with a clamp. Works great for me. Now, I've never had a lathe with a proper suds pump, so I've got no benchmark. But this works great for me. Um, Doing them cones where it used to get very hot and I used to have problems with it. This sorts that right out. And with a drip feed with the um, rear tool post that I made for parting, it's a dream. I think it was, I'm pretty sure this was £4.50 and I think it was £3 postage. And I can't remember whether it was Wish or Banggood or come from one of them anyway, I'm sure they're on all the sites and probably on eBay everywhere. Well worth the money, I, I can't fault it. It's, um, it does a job, works perfectly. I'm happy with it. I think it was a well worthwhile project and I use it all the time. And like I say, with the magnets on, I use it on my donkey saw as well. I haven't got around to using it on the uh, mini machine yet, but I'm sure it'll be all right on there as well. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already don't forget if you are interested in the coin ring thing that i do there is a september draw for a coin ring punch and if you want your name in the app for that just email me and i'll see you again on the next one thanks for watching ta -da.